Ricky, another inconsistent performance. Awful today, Shocking. really yeah. bad. Yeah. The chance to knock on the top four door again, and it's yeah. gone again. I mean, are we just looking at Europa League now? Is that going to be the best chance of this team getting any form of Champions League? Because it was, it, was, it was bad today. We, we are inconsistent, but we have just beaten two of the lower teams, Burnley and Newcastle, which we've been struggling with. And now suddenly we get beat by one of the bigger teams. Mm. And uh, I mentioned this to you a few weeks ago. We've, up until today, we've played Arsenal at home, we've played Liverpool at home, we've played Spurs at home, we've played Chelsea at home, we've played Leicester City at home. The only one of the, uh, let's call Leicester one of the big six at the minute, the only one of the big six we've played away before today is Man City. We had a great win there, fair enough. But we've got five of the big teams, we've just played the first one. Mm. And beat. that's what we saw. And now we've got away games against most of them. We're going to have a right struggle, I think, for the for the rest of the season. Um, we've got to get the wins against the smaller teams because we ain't we ain't going to beat these teams away from home. We're not going to. Do, I know we did it at City, mm. but it's not. Is that just happen. a one-off stand-up? Yeah, we've got we've got Liverpool away in two weeks. I'd be mm. amazed if we get it. Obviously, I'm praying we do. Mm. But I'm amazed if we get anything. There. What went wrong today, Rick? What 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 was it? Because team selection-wise. You talk Luke Shaw. I don't think had his best game, but maybe Brandon Williams uh, could have came in. Jesse Lingard got a start. Maybe he thought it's Arsenal. He might turn up for once. Yeah. Um, it didn't quite the, work the, out. The way, Where, Je what? the way Jesse Lingard keeps getting in the team absolutely staggers me. It staggers me. I'm not one. I hear people sort of harping on about how many goals Rashford scored and how great he is because he's scoring a few goals. It isn't important who scores the goals. It really isn't. But you have got to weigh in a little bit. If you're a forward or a midfield player, you've got to weigh in a little bit. Now, I don't care who scores them, but you've got to help. To go a full calendar year without having a goal or an assist, you shouldn't be playing in an attacking position for Man United. It's an, it's an absolute disgrace. Why do you think he is? I, I don't get it. It's because he runs around. Mm. Because he runs around. But that, that's probably a little bit of a myth. I'd love to get the stats. I mean, everybody slags Man Juan Matter off because of his lack of pace and lack of running. But I bet, I, I bet if you, I bet if you got the stats, I bet if you got the stats off United about when he plays or when Lingard plays, I bet, I bet you, he only runs like an extra 500 yards or something in the match. He was not, he's not going to be miles. What, what, you know, what difference does that make? The fact that he can run, run around a little bit. Mm. And Matter came on late. And Matter can, Matter, Matter can pass it. Matter's still a quality player. He can, he could. Like I said, like it doesn't matter who scores the goals as long as somebody does. It also doesn't matter who creates the goals. So you can't expect somebody like Matter to come on and start making the goals, but, but he just passes it better. We need players who pass it better so that we move around the pitch better. Players get into good positions. Don't need one Matter to make a chance. We need him to put maybe Juan Bissaka in behind or Luke Shaw in behind. Mm. Lingard can't do that. Lingard's just not good enough. It's, it's, it's shocking. You were just talking to an Arsenal fan, weren't you, before they came on? Mm. And, and he was suggesting like our best chance might be Europa League. And, and I think he said to you, mm. do you fancy yourselves? AC Milan have dropped yeah. down. I don't fancy us against Wolves. Mm. You know, Wolves are in the Europa League. Mm. We've got yeah, you don't in, want to draw them. I don't want to draw a Wolves. I know we can't <laughs> in it. Well, we, I know it's already drawn the next yeah. round. But, but we could draw Wolves yeah. in the next round. Or Arsenal. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't fancy Wolves just Rangers, as much as I wouldn't fancy Celtic. AC Milan. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Milan. I don't think we've got a player to win in the Europa League. Mm. I really, I mean, January. Again, I hope I'm it, wrong. It, it's January. Mm. How important is it that we strengthen? And do you think we will? I don't think we will. It's sort of important what that, that we do. Where? Uh, but I don't think... We, we definitely need another forward. We definitely. Something about the forwards, by the way. Every single week, his substitution is the same. Mm. It's always Dan James. Now, I know Dan James is having a tough time tonight. Is it Kalassi and Nash that was playing yeah. at left back? We well, got him booked after like three it, or four minutes. He did have to knock him over a couple of times. Yeah. A couple of times, Kalassi and Nash got away with it. A couple of times, we got a free kick. Mm. Now, Marcus Rashford, to me, in the first half, couldn't get a kick of the ball. Mm. Why is he taking that option every time? Every single solitary time, without exception, it's Dan James off. And Dan James doesn't deserve to be said. In fact, you know how much I love Anthony Marshall? I think Dan James was possibly the best of our front three today and still gets a curly finger mm. you know what I mean if we I'll be don't, watching it again and I'll be studying it <laughs> if we don't spend in January mm. are we just going to keep seeing the same inconsistencies that we're seeing now like, you can't see us putting a run together or can or, is it a matter is it a matter of maybe along the way along the season 
something will just click into gear and we can go and finally run around. I, I don't think we're gonna we're gonna have a consistent run. I think we're gonna be too inconsistent and I don't trust if it's all his choices, if it's all his choices, I don't trust him to spend the money wisely either. Mm. I've sat with a pal of mine tonight, t two things that have been, that have happened tonight since the game ended. I've had one guy on Twitter and there's a few but one, one in particular tonight said uh, Ricky told us three months ago that Smalling's better than Maguire mm. can we all have a proper look at this mm. you know what I mean we spent 80 million pound on Maguire he's no better than Chris Smalling trust me and there's people coming back to me now saying and I sat with a mate of mine Simon who lives in London so he doesn't go to many games but I was sat with him tonight and he was studying him he said he said I don't think Maguire's better in the air than Smalling I don't think he passes it as well as Smalling I don't think he's as quick as Smalling and I don't think he tackles as well as Smalley. Other than that, he's all right. Simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what did you what did you make of his performance today as a captain? Maguire. Yeah. I thought it was poor. I thought it was poor. Mm. But one pass that he put out. I mean, the one pass that he put out in the left back area. I thought Marshall should have dropped a bit deeper to give him a better angle. But if you're a footballer, you know, Roy Keane wouldn't have passed it there. Do you mm. understand what I mean? I know, I know Marshall should have been a bit deeper, mm. but, but he I wasn't. See, that's not a feasible option. He wasn't option. a bit yeah. deeper, so don't pass it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So don't pass it. Then he had an header. I don't know if he's. I, mean, I can't wait right, to watch it and yeah. tell it, but the header that he had. I mean, I played Sunday League football. I'd have done a better effort than that. Mm. It was feeble. Just Straight from about six yeah. yards into the ground, it bounced into his body. You know what I mean? It's shocking. Can he hit the ball? I noticed an header in the second half, a long ball into our half, and he's jumped and he's won it easily. Mm. But instead of it going back towards their goal, it went out for a throw in. Yeah, I saw that. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just ordinary, I think. Yeah. I really do. Well, we go again Wolves, yeah. FA Cup. Yeah. We're going to get through to the fourth round? Doubt it very much. I hope I'm wrong, but I doubt it. Rick, happy new year, son. All the best. Nice, son. Ryan, okay, well, we've, we've started together. there, Rick. I mean, yeah, you yeah. Think you're saying you, you, you don't think, yeah, yeah we're on, we're on, we're live. Um, you don't think we were that bad today? I don't think so, no. I thought we were all right. I mean, it's a tough place to come next, and mm. we had quite a bit of control of the ball in the first half. Yeah. I'd, I don't think we've played better than that for a while. That's right, the way I saw I it. I agree with you in terms of yeah, yeah. in the first half. I did tweet it. I said we've yeah. controlled the game. Yeah. Um, is that more because Wolves are going to sit back? They're not an aggressive team in terms of trying to win the ball back and dominate games in that way. Yeah. They're going to sit back. They're going to try and counter. And by Wolves' standards, I admit they was not good first half. They had that young lad up front and he was getting eaten up by Maguire. Yeah. Yeah. And they brought on him and Ez because they yeah. could see the problem. Yeah. And in the beginning of the second half we were under the cost slightly then they had that breaking play when Romero was down and that kind of helped us yeah but we didn't really we just didn't create I thought no, we'd get no, to the final no, third no, again no, and we just same that. same thing we didn't create we didn't create much um obviously we hit the bar as soon as Rashford yeah. came. I thought Rashford could have done better a couple of times yeah. when he came on um, I can't remember exactly what happened but he seemed to go through another time and did he run it into the keeper or run yeah, it into did, a defender? Yeah. It went out he for a, defender, yeah. maybe we got a cut. Did he even go for a goal kick? I can't remember. But I just think we had a couple of half chances. Diego Dalot, when he came on, he had a shot. I know, mm. I know, they, they slim pickings, but mm. but Wolves, it's a tough place to come. It is. I mean, how many teams have won here this season? Yeah. Not many. So is that? So from a mean? United point, should we yeah. just be? Are you I sense that you're trying to say like, just relieved we didn't lose? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'm we pleased normally we do didn't it. lose, and I know we're Man United, but, yeah. but at, the, at the same time, there's. You know, Wolves, Wolves are probably a better team than us right now, aren't mm. they? And we've come in and we've got a draw, and I think we could, like you say, we controlled the game at times in the first half. I know you could say they sit back, but they, when a team sits back, when they win the ball, they don't deliberately give it to you. Mm. You know, they do you try, to, they well do try to keep it, yeah. Mm. So uh, I, I thought we played all right. Well, I, thought, look at, I, I thought Matic played. I know everyone's going to go. Matic was class, I thought. I thought he was running the show at times. He lost it a couple of times. You're mm. bound to against teams like that. And one matter was spreading it all around. And people are going to say, oh, the old ones again. Mm. But they both played really well. What did you make of Andreas Pereira's next Fantastic. to Matic? Because I, I did Fantastic. think he did actually play OK. I mean, yeah, there was yeah. a couple of things. We talk about his decision making yeah. um, a couple of times where yeah, just keep short, the ball moving, short, left foot yeah. shot. Again, yeah, we've seen yeah. that common theme. He did it again at yeah. Watford as well, didn't he? I, um, and but I thought he was quite neat and tidy where he where, where yeah. we could, and he showed good energy. But yeah. other than that, though, it's it still there was limitations just within the whole team. Yeah, there's limitations within the whole team. But I've got to mention Chong. Mm. Um, I, wa I watched him play. I think he played against Rochdale. I think he yeah, played Rochdale. against Astana. Yeah. 
he didn't look strong enough against them. But have they sent him away to training camp or something? He looks mm. a different man today. Mm. I, I thought like, the, 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 I'd like to see it again on screen, but the, the kid that tackled him in the second half might have got Took a red card. I thought. Yeah, it was. It really was bad. It, it and I, 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 Tong was down for some while. You could yeah, see in his face time. he was in yeah. a lot of pain. You know, yeah. could he force his way into you know getting some Premier League minutes? I think so. I thought should he should have been contention. I, I thought he looked good. Uh, also, you're on about was not 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 showing giving any danger. Dan James got in behind on, on the left twice. Mm. Uh, you know, dangerous balls across the six-yard mm. box. No, but as we always seem to have that problem, mm. nobody on the end of it. Mm. So we have the same problem whether it's Marshall, whether it's Rashford, whether it's Greenwood. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, look, it's an hard place to come. I think we had a couple of half chances. We've done well to limit them to what you know. Yeah. What, what a good chance they have. Yeah, that's th- true. Maybe three. Which good is why chances. it was a game which was kind of yeah. just low on quality yeah. from both sides. I think both teams yeah. didn't play to their best. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd have took a replay before the ball was kicked, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I predicted a draw. I did. Yeah, yeah, I, I honestly yeah. thought. I felt like it would be a replay. I just, I just had that mm. feeling. Mm. I thought, you know, Wolves weren't going to lay siege mm. to us, but mm. there's always that chance we could lose it. Yeah. I want to ask you. I know you look at the game, you know, intensely. It took me a while at times to work out what formation we're playing. I thought it was really odd with Greenwood. He was supposed to be the nine. He was drifting off so far. Sometimes he was on the right, and then there was just no striker. Then when he yeah. changed it to the uh, the five, um, the five three two, I, I looked at it and I just thought, I, I don't see what our formation definitely is. I just, I don't know. The, the main problem with that is, is, is Greenwood. Uh, I said against Spurs, it worked great. Greenwood, ask, he, look, he's not physically strong enough to compete with the big centre backs, mm. so he drifts away from him to mm. try and find a bit of space. Sometimes it's good that, yeah. sometimes it works, and it's the best way for him to play. Mm. Marshall's a bit stronger. If Marshall would have played tonight, we might have created a couple more chances, mm. and, and we'd have held the ball up better amongst their big centre backs. Yeah. Um, so, so that makes it difficult to say exactly where he's playing, really. But I saw it in the first half, especially with like one match was like a number 10 Green was supposedly at 9 although mm. he drifting all over mm. and then Chong was on one wing, uh, James was on the other, mm. and Matic and Pereira in the middle. It's more or less a 4 4 2. It was at times, that's what I mean. Well, it just yeah, kept changing like four, four, in, 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 in transition, which was really yeah, weird. Yeah. To finish off, who would you man the match? Ashley Young. Why? I thought he had a blinder. I thought he had an absolute blinder. He gave, I, I said after the Burnley game, he's got more composure. I put this on Twitter because I said it to you straight after you did, the game, yeah. and then I got home and I watched. I watched. Uh, I nearly said Fergie. I watched all his. Um, I watched all his after match interview, and he said Ashley Young at mm. right back gives us more composure. Mm. So I thought you got to think about that. Mm. I mean, Oli Oli can't can't think quickly enough straight after the game but for him to say he brings us more composure is as if to say we haven't got enough composure when mm. he's not there mm. he is mm. isn't it mm. you know and, and you know a lot said to me oh it's not it's not it's not one Basaka's fault that we letting goals in all the time which it isn't mm. it's a cumulative thing amongst all the players but now Ashley Young's played two out of three games at right back and we haven't let a goal in mm. are you thinking there's a little bit of a shift there I, well I I think he should play I think he should play, I um, really and do. And Bissaka should come in slowly, yeah, young first yeah, season. Yeah, I think so. I okay, think so. fair enough. So he was your man of the match? Man of the match, yes. Like nice one, Rick. Pleasure. Right, Cheers. Big re- it's not the only reason. Mm. It's a big reason. Matic is better than both of them. McTominay's better than both of them. You can, surely you can see when Matic comes on, the difference that it makes. Mm. At 3-0 down at half-time, Matic comes on and starts taking time on the ball. I can hear the crowd getting frustrated about him taking time on the I ball. We need to take time on the ball. He's cool and calm and collected. But did we have more like time, Rick, like because City players. just no, eased? No, not at all. No? Not at all. Not at all. That's the, that, that's the feeling that you get. Don't tell me that City didn't still... What, what, did you, what did they do when they got the ball, City, in the second half? Did they just pass it round at the back? Mm. They didn't just pass it round at the back. They still passed it forward. They still tried to get forward. Right? Matic makes a difference. I said before the game, Matic should be playing. Did he not play because it was, what, what would have been, what, four games on the bounce? Is well, that a bit, a, bit, a bit of a push? You know, you look at Solskjaer, I know for all the criticisms that he's had, and we look at how bad the midfield was today, but I looked at it, actually, when you actually calm down and look at it contextually, actually... Matic has not played all season and he's had to come in and maybe play four on a trot. Maybe he could have done that. But then, like you did if, say, the if, persistence if of starting Lingard. If, if that's the reason, yeah. if that's the reason, well, I've got yeah. to hold my hands up and say, well, maybe so. But at the same time, at the same time, he's played. Look, look, we didn't keep a clean sheet for 14 league games in a row. Mm. 14 league. If, if you count just, just, I think this is right, you might have to check this. If you just count games against Premier League teams, you can throw Chelsea in the League Cup. So 15 games against Premier League teams, we didn't keep a clean sheet. 
Then we brought Matic back in. He only come back in because McTominay was injured, injured, right? We keep a clean sheet at Burnley. We get beat 2-0 at Arsenal. We draw 0-0 at Wolves. He's come on at half-time today. He's only played half a game. We didn't let a goal in. Mm. You know what I mean? We hardly let goals in when Matic is playing. But, and it's not about running around and making tackles. It's about spending time on the ball and giving, giving your teammates a chance when you pass the ball to him. Away from... OK, fair enough. I, 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 it's all about opinions and, f and fair play. The, the, the people will decide or, 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 or agree or disagree with what you're saying about Matic. Away from the Matic thing, the way we played as a team, tactically, we had no answer it. Where, where do you stand on the way the front three played, our transition? We looked shaky at the back, like between Lindelof and, and Jones. They both looked, looked like they just didn't want the ball. They were scared. They were nervous. There were mistakes galore. Brandon Williams, I thought he was, he was brilliant in, 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 the, in, the con in the context of a bad game of a team performance. Individually, I thought he, he was everywhere. He was trying to get past his opposite number, make something happen. Mm. Bissaka, OK, he did all right against Sterling. But other than that, De Gea. De Gea in that, in that first, in that first, the distribution, well. awful. I mean, where do you stand on the rest of the performance and what's going wrong right now? And Lingard again, taking off at half-time. It's so simple, Flex. It is unbelievable how simple it is. We've got too many players who aren't good enough. Yeah. I mentioned glue before mm. about players sticking it, you know, players that stick the team together, experienced, professional players who have got a good touch and pass it. One matter on, uh, on Saturday at Wolves mm. for an hour, they got an hour, he never gave the ball away once. I've watched it twice since. Mm. He didn't give the ball away, not once, right? And people say, oh, it's always back. It's not always backwards. He's giving balls to Williams. He's giving balls to Chong. So why is, so, know, so why is Solskjaer not, he, not he, going let, with him let, or let a Gomez? Finish, let me yeah. finish. He brings Gomez on. Gomez can't lace Matter's boots. I watched oh. Gomez against Rochdale and I watched him. Look, I'm telling you, I watched Gomez against Rochdale. I watched him against Astana. He wasn't good enough against them. He comes on tonight. He did go into a challenge which led to us getting the goal as it happens. One challenge. But on the ball, it was shocking. Has he been given a fair chance though? No, no, We've seen no, Lingard no. start games after games oh, I'm not with, saying, with the numbers I'm not that he's saying, given. I'm not saying he might not be as good as Lingard, right. but Lingard's shocking as well. Yeah. You know, tonight. It's three. It's three one. We're three one down. Yeah. We 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 get a breakaway with about ten minutes to go. Gomez is running at a defender. He's got a player to his right and a player to his left, decision. and he runs into him and loses the ball. Every single solitary time, bar none, one matter would pass that ball. Mm. He's a quality footballer. He's experienced. He knows what to do. So what you're saying is Solskjaer's not picking the right players for he's what we do. He's not picking the have. right players. He doesn't know what he's doing. I'm afraid. Mm. Matic should have started. Mm. I'm not saying necessarily one matter shouldn't shouldn't have, should have started, but Lingard shouldn't have started. Mm. I don't know if Marshall was fit. Mm. If he's fit to be on ten the bench, minutes. is he fit to start? Eight I don't minutes. know. Marshall's fantastic. He mm. gets ten minutes, but I don't know. I don't know the situation. There. He might he might still not be fully recovered or whatever. How do you, to finish off, how do you, how do you see the rest of the month panning out? It's been a terrible start to 2020 so far. And by the end of it, if this, if this type of football continues, you're looking at being out of the Carabao Cup, if we don't get a result against Wolves, being out of that, out of two cups. Um, and we've got to go to Liverpool away. We've got Burnley and Norwich at home. If they don't go right, we could be out of touch with the top four. How are you seeing the rest of the month panning up? Your gut feeling? It's too hard to say, Flex. Mm. It depends. Depends if he starts getting hit right. Mm. I can't expect. You can't really expect to get anything at Liverpool. Yeah. You can't expect to win by two at City. Mm. And we, you know, we, we could beat Wolves here. He, maybe he should put all his eggs in one basket. Mm. We've got to try and beat Wolves here, and we've got to try and get in the top four. And obviously the Europa League, but it's mm. not one basket. Mm. But maybe uh, if if he thinks he hasn't got the squad, I've just seen uh, someone's just sent me an article through saying that the Inter Milan have stated, it looks pretty official, that, that, that they're getting Ashley Young. Ashley Young's one of our best players, I mate. Mean, do you know what? Ashley I'm, Young, the last two games he's that, played, has been we superb. We can't afford to let him go. Can't afford to let him go. Yeah. He's superb, Ashley Young. Do you think they're going to spend? I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Ashley Young, Ashley Young, if he goes to Inter Milan, Inter Milan are top of Serie A. Don't believe all this rubbish what you see about Inter Milan being a crap league, uh, about the Serie A being a crap league. There's not much difference. The team's near the top, they might not be as good as City or Liverpool, but everything below that is similar. The bottom teams in Serie A are similar to the bottom teams in the, in the Premier League. It's very similar. Inter Milan are top. If they, sign, if they sign Ashley Young, they'll strengthen their position. What Mark my words. Do you think... Talking about, strength, talking about strengthening our own position yeah. to finish off, Rick, will yeah. we spend in January? I doubt it. I doubt Why not? It. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do you, do you know what, Flex, if I'm honest? 
if I'm honest, I don't really look. People keep telling me about Madison. Mm. I've watched Madison. I've, I've, I haven't watched him closely, but I've watched a couple of Leicester games. But when I'm watching Leicester, I don't watch Leicester like I watch United. Mm. But I've seen him take the wrong option a few times, Madison. I've not been overly... Don't give me all the stats. Mm. He's got this many goals and he's got this many assists. I've just seen him taking wrong options. I don't see one matter taking wrong... Now, don't get me wrong mm. here. One matter might be 31. Mm. He might be whatever he is, 25. Mm. You know, for the long term, he's obviously a better option. For the long term, mm. if we were playing a cup final tomorrow mm. and I had to pick between one matter or Madison at number 10, I'd pick one matter. <laughs> I'm telling you. But don't, you think, you. but don't you think what he's done now with the numbers that he's been putting up, yeah. he's, he's shown that he's a level above Matter, he's a level above Lingard, he's a level above Andreas Pereira, Grealish even I, so. I, 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 look, these I'm, types like of players. I just said, I'm not looking yeah. at the numbers at like goals. And if, yeah. he, if he's scoring an unbelievable amount of goals, fair mm. enough. I don't think it's an unbelievable amount of goals he's scoring or an unbelievable amount of assists. You need good players, I've said this to you before, you need good players in your team. Mm. Madison's playing with better players. Mm. And Matter Adley gets a game here, let alone play with good players. Mm. Okay, nice one, Rick. Let's see you against Norwich. Rick, big 4 0 win today. Yes, it is against Norwich, but any time your lads play, <laughs> your <Yeah>. siblings. <laughs> um, I always feel I've got to start there, but I have to say I gave one man of the match. I thought he was superb. Two assists for him today. Yeah. Matic did bring a calming influence in there, albeit against not a very good side, but yeah. the job was done today, wasn't it? The, the job was done, and obviously you, you expect to beat Norwich uh, at home. Of course you do. Um, I don't know if there's a great deal of difference between Villa and Norwich. If Villa played Norwich, I mean, how did Villa go on when they played Norwich? I mm. don't know. I wouldn't mm. be surprised if it was a draw. Mm. You know, we drew two all with Villa here the other week. So we're drawing two all with Villa. And then when, when Matic and Matter play, we beat Norwich 4-0. And there'd be people saying it was only Norwich. Mm. Well, it was only Villa when we drew here with Villa the other week. Do you know what mm. I mean? I know Everton got a new manager in. They came on a bit stronger. But we've drawn here with Everton recently. 4-0 win. You, you know, let, let's, let's, let's take it. It's, mm. it's great. There were, good, there were good positives, innit? I mean, we know what we're like against a team that sits back and what we lack, but what I think you have been saying over, over a long period of time is the quality that Matt does still possess. And you can't just say just because he's old that he does, older now, older, older now, that he doesn't possess the, the, yeah. the, the, the attribute to find a killer pass, to release the ball at the right time, Correct. to control the ball. Yeah. And I thought he did that well today. You know, when he plays on the right hand side, he isn't going to stay there. He's not going to try and take mm. someone on the outside. Yeah. And he drifted in and, and mm. we got the first goal from him and then, you know, a third goal from him as well. Matter's Matter's touch is absolutely exquisite. Yeah. Always there, has been. There, there was balls played out to him on the wing, and he's, he's got this capability. He's almost looking at where he wants to pass it, and the ball drops to his feet, and he's killing it while he's looking where he kills it. Mm. And about at least three times, I would say it might have been more. He killed it, and he just waits for the right moment. Pereira's running through, through the inside right channel. Mm. He played it behind the fullback. And he put Pereira in, in about Pereira, three yeah. times, I would say at least three times, it might have been more. Mm. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Pereira's in, and Pereira, I'm going to have a good look at Pereira on screen. I thought he had a good game. I, I, I thought he did okay, but it, now, and, now and then, he's got to fire one of them across the box. Mm. Every single time he got through, we'd matter playing him in. He takes a torch, he checks back, then he goes this way. He was within four yards or five yards of the dead ball line on his first touch. Just fire it across the mm. six-yard box. And then it's their problem to be getting yeah, in the yeah, box to yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But we, we did go for a stretch. So Rashford again to a brace for him, a penalty which he did miss against um, Tim yeah, Krul in the reverse time, yeah. picture yeah. and Martial. So you're thinking, well, oh, what's going to happen here? But keeper goes the right way and he still dispatches it brilliantly. Yeah, um, he couldn't miss one matters one, which was put on a plate. But he's in his best goal scoring um, he's, form, isn't he? His goal scoring really well. was fantastic, and I thought he played well today. Yeah. You know, I'm not a big fan of his, but um, I thought he played really well. Mm. Today. And he Greenwood did a, he did a lot of as good well. things. I mean, is that you know, it comes off the bench. Look, is, do. You, do you see that's what the fuss is about? Because I know you said he needs more time and you know he's, he's getting he more score, patience he coming off the bench. And, Greenwood yeah. can score. I've said, it, goal I've said is, it, it time and time again, he can score a goal. Yeah. I just think you, you, when, when you're picking a team to play in any given game, you need a stronger team as you can possibly field. And I don't think Greenwood yet is quite ready to be in our first choice full strength team. Mm. I really don't. And what about Brandon Williams? Uh, he played well today, Fantastic. I thought. I know you had reservations about him still. I, I think you said, you know, Luke Shaw I is did. still the better player. Yeah. Do you still think that? Because I, I, I have to be honest, Rick. Shaw's, Shaw's, Shaw's more experienced, he's a bit stronger. He's, does he offer Will, what Brandon Will, Williams offers? Williams is rapid, maybe he doesn't. Um, a lot of people will probably jump on this and mm. say that's unfair. Maybe it is a little bit unfair, but you, when you're looking at a game, 
you've got to pick all the little things. City's first goal the other night, uh, Mares beat Williams in the air, dead easy, too easy, headed it down. Then City went on, on the break, and I know he smashed it in mm. from 20 yards, mm. whatever it was. Uh, what's it Bernardo called? Silva. Bernardo Silva yeah. smashed it in the top. Great goal. But it starts with the keeper playing a long ball to Mares, who headed it down to a midfield player. It's too easy. Mm. Shaw tends to win a lot of them matters. Shaw, Shaw had a great game mm. at the Etihad. So, look, people, people disrespect Shaw a lot, and everybody's loving Williams, and mm. Williams is good, and he is quick. A couple of his passes went astray today that shouldn't have done, by the way. I do like him. Matt did as he's well. Gonna, yeah. Well, they all, they all do a couple, <laughs> yeah. don't they? So yeah, he had, he had a good game. So uh, what do you see? What do you see in Shaw then that you don't see in Brandon Williams apart from experience? A bit of solidity, a bit of solidity, a bit of a. Uh, I like calmer players. Uh, look, Williams is doing great. I think he's I, outshining I, him. I, I, I have think, to be I honest. Think, I think. I he think is. if we play another game where we're under pressure throughout the game, like maybe at the Etihad next mm, week. Mm. Like Williams no, you mean uh, yeah. at Liverpool next week? No, well, we've got Liverpool. Oh, at the end of the month. Etihad. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. straight after Liverpool, yeah. we've got City it's, away it's, in the yeah, League yeah. Cup second leg. So yeah. we've, got, we've got two games next week yeah. where we'll see what Williams is made of. Mm. We've, if he plays. We've, we've drawn, well, I think he will play. He seems to be playing every mm. game. Shaw played here against Liverpool. He played away against City. Mm. And I just think, for me, mm. I know loads will say you bang out of order. I think he just about edges it. But Williams is doing great. He is doing great. Who was your man of the match? Finish off. It's got to be Matic, I think. Not matter. <laughs> they were both great. They were both great. <laughs> nice, over it. Nice ball, mate. Cheers, man. Rick, we got it done in the end. Finally beat these lot. Um, yeah. We've come in out the cold, wrapping up the fan cams in the warm in hotel football. Thanks for the central heating. Um, but we got there in the end, didn't it? It was a really poor first half. Very poor. I thought Wolves are very comfortable. They could have scored, probably should have scored. Um, Goal rightly disallowed for offside to the letter of the law, but you never know with VAR now. Handball, I don't. Wasn't it? Handball wasn't it? Handball. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, not offside. Yeah, yeah handball. Um, and it just it looked like the game was going to be decided by a fine margin, and it was with a, with a great finish, a great bit of play from Martial, and a great finish from Matt. Yeah. <clears throat> First of all, I don't want people to underestimate how good Wolves are. Yeah. Wolves are a really, really top side these days. You know, they won at City. They were dead unlucky to lose at Anfield mm. only the other week. Mm. Uh, one nil again. And again, a goal that could have been disallowed. They had to look at VAR and some people thought it was handball and mm. Liverpool got the look of the draw with that. But then Wolves also equalised when one of them where, where his, his, yeah. his toe was an inch offside or something. Mm. So Wolves are a really top side. So to draw nil-nil with them away and to win one nil at home, no matter how the way, no matter how the game went, is 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 like a really plucky it's a positive, performance. Yeah. It's a proper positive, yeah. Mm. There's no there's no point in looking at that as a negative. Mm. No point whatsoever. What, 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 what was our what was our performance? Because I thought I thought I saw some resolute defending. I thought we was organised in large parts. Because for how dominant Wolves might have been in possession, because they're well drilled, I didn't feel that Romero had to work awfully hard. He had one save, I thought, mm. but. Uh, I did feel that we, we struggled to create the, the, the same themes that we see with this side. I agree with you, but, you know, we, and you, you said, like, how was our performance? Our, mm. our performance in the first 20 minutes was just dead lucky, nothing yeah. else. Yeah. Dead lucky. They had yeah. all the play mm. and a couple of chances and then obviously the VAR decision. So that was dead lucky. But as I said, they're a the top side. So, mm. so some t over, the, over the season... We've struggled to break down the likes of Aston Villa, the likes of Everton, uh, the likes of Crystal Palace beat us here. Mm. Don't, don't be too upset about us struggling to break down Wolves. I mean, the games that I've just mentioned as well, I've said on here before, it's so vital that you start by keeping clean sheets yeah. and Matic helps with that. Helps with that. He didn't play against Crystal Palace when we got beat 2-1. Mm. He didn't play here against Aston Villa when we drew 2 all. He didn't play here when we drew one all. So you think he was instrumental in that? He's absolutely instrumental. It, keep, it keeps you in the game. It keeps all the players on a big up. And, it's, and against Wolves, they're not playing with a, as they call it, I hate that phrase, but they call it a low block these mm. days. They're not playing with a low block. We're not dominating possession, dominating the game. It's a proper... I was about to say an even game, but I'll, I'll watch it again later. But mm. I think they probably edged no, it. At, at, at times side. in the first half, 
I mean, I think Saeed said in one of the fan cams he was Ooh. almost in awe of Wolves. That sometimes the way they've been moving the ball, and you, you know, it's not nice. It's not you. You got to not look at the name of the badge, name of the club. Yeah. You got to look at player for player, system for system, yeah. manager for manager of what's going on right now, yeah. where they're at with their teams. Yeah. And I saw one team that was completely well drilled. They all knew their jobs. Yeah. They've literally, they've played a 5-2-3. Yeah. They've just got Matinho and Neves in there against our three midfielders. Yeah. And they're just getting loads of space. You've got Traore going at it. Jimenez looks after the ball ever so well. Absolutely. Neto getting at it. You know, it, yeah. they are quality. You're right. And then at the back, they're so organised from Ooh. Cody across the whole back five. Ooh. But I felt, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I just felt that in order to win that game, we were always going to have to just show just a a moment, a Which moment, we and, and we, we did, did, and we did, and yeah. let's talk about that. I mean, Martial bounces the defender, gets 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 the right side of him, knows when to Brilliant. hold on to the ball and let it let it in. Brilliant, and then Matter with the finish. Matter's finish was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. There'll be loads of people later on saying, "Ricky, Matic and Matter, Matic and Matter, Matic and Matter." <laughs> look, look. At the end of the day, we have done better since they've come in, but that could change it in a moment. Mm. And I know there'll be loads on. If they both, I mean, Matic will almost certainly play at Anfield. Matter might not. He might leave him out for mm. more energetic players. I don't know. I'd play Matter. Forget mm. the energetic players. Pick the players that control it and pass it. Mm. Let, you know, let, let's not need so much energy. Mm. Um, certainly for the first 70 minutes, anyway. Mm. Uh, that's what I'd do. Um, I want to come back to that about Mat Matter as yeah. well. But um, where, where was it then? The Liverpool away on Sunday. We could go and be, get beat 4-0. It could, it could easily, easily happen. And there'll be people on here saying, where's Rick now with his Matic and yeah. Matter? But it can happen whoever plays. Yeah. Before tonight's game, they're a top side. Mm. We could have lost tonight whoever plays. You're not saying with these so two yeah, players in. These two players yeah, don't invincible. change everything. We're yeah. not invincible. We're yeah. just better. Yeah. And we are better. I don't care. If, well, I do care. But <laughs> if we get beat 6-0 at Anfield with them two playing, we're still a better team with them two playing than when they're not playing. Mm. Without any shadow of well, a doubt. But do you know what? Since I, I do like to take things into context. I like to take all different fan opinions and actually think about them sometimes. Yeah. And the matter thing I've, I've, I've put to a lot of fans because when you did say actually... He's, okay, he might be slightly older and stuff, but the quality he still possesses and, and up here, mm. you can't say that Mata mm. doesn't have more quality on the board than Lingard. You can't say that Mata doesn't have better quality on the board than, than Pereira. And Fred. And, and, and Fred, in terms of quality and decision making and execution, mm. yes, Oli's going to go for slightly more energy mm. um, in, in Pereira, and he probably will do that against yeah, Liverpool with yeah. their midfield. Um, but I, 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 like, I like the fact that a lot of fans are actually saying, because I've said, should, should Matter get more game time? Should, should he be playing against the bigger sides, not just mm. against Norwich when we need to... Should he actually play when it really, really, really matters against the top, top teams? Mm. And some people are saying, well, yeah, Pereira's decision maker is not great. Lingard's been missing for God knows long. Mm. Um, then we don't have any other <laughs> number 10s. Gomez isn't getting a kick. Yeah. Um, Rashford. Came on for 16 minutes. Yeah. I think he took a tump, took a bad fall. Yeah. Looked yeah. like his lower back or hip from where I was. Couldn't Ooh. see it properly. Solskjaer said in press conference, I would like to rest him Ooh. where I can, but he's got bags of energy. Um, he's in the form of his life. Ooh. Is he being mismanaged? Does, 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 does Rashford need to have a little bit of um, more about him to say, I need, I need the rest, even though that's not really in him? Or because the games are coming this quickly, because our squad depth isn't that good and he is Mr. Goals right now, mm. he does have to play all these games. Should he have come off the bench today as well? I don't know. The answer mm. is, it's, it's a too, if the answer is too quick to your yeah. long question, yeah. I don't know. If, mm. if he thinks he should play every week, that's how he feels about his body. Mm. Um, if, if Ollie thinks he, he, he needs a rest, Ollie thinks, I, I, I just don't know. Mm. I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't know. He, didn't, he seemed okay at the weekend. I didn't know that he needed a rest tonight. If mm. I was the manager tonight, I probably would have played him. Mm. You, know, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Marcus Rashford, but he had a good game at the weekend. Yeah. So tonight, I probably would have played him. Me, mm. I, I, what, sort of, what, what does it do to our squad for Liverpool? Does it, does it change the way we have to play without Rashford? Or no, I don't think you, so. you stick Dan James out there? Dan James can go in that position. Matter yeah. on the right for well, you? I'd, I'd still pick Matter anyway, yeah. Mm. I, I wasn't happy with Fred tonight. I thought Pereira came on, give it away too cheaply mm. a couple of times. Not happy with Pereira. We, we're going to have a right struggle at Anfield, I think, a right struggle. Mm. Um, we're desperate for McTominay to come back. I yeah. said to you, I remember, it, uh, back I, I remember saying to you after Newcastle away, McTominay and Matic should be our central pairing. We, do, you think, we, do you think them two are not too similar? Or not at all. Not no. at all, no. We need players. Well, what, well if... 
if, Ma if McTominay was to take Fred's place, mm. don't tell me that McTominay's not going to do a better job than, than, than Fred. You think? That, yeah, yeah, Fred. Fred gives it away too cheap. He's not as big. He's not as strong. He doesn't win his challenges. We just will be. We've been proved we, without any doubt. Matic has now played five or six games, and we've been better since he came back. We will be better if McTominay comes in next to him. We'll be better again. Mm. And if and if we get this lad, I've not watched enough of this Fernandez. Mm. Um, I'm just thinking. I don't want to forget about what what say about Mata, but. Um, if this Fernandez comes in, if he's what he's all cracked up to be, and I'm not saying he is, yeah. I'm not seeing him enough, but if he is, if we get Max Tomini and Matic together and let him go forward from that from that base of them two defending, and when I say defending, look at Matic today regularly, he's within 10 yards of their box and mm. getting the ball and passing it or, or sidestepping people and passing it. He doesn't hang back there when we're on top. The, te the team moves up and down the pitch together. You know, the, if, if, if Matic is playing, if we've got them under pressure, the back four are on the halfway line and he's 15 yards inside their half and he's there ready for, to receive a pass. And then if there's a loose ball, he steps forward again onto that. So don't, don't think that he's just hanging back. And the same applies to McTominay, except with a bigger engine. Mm -hmm. And I also like a right foot and a left foot. Mm. So McTominay's right footed, Matic is left footed. Mm. If them two play together and we've got another good player next to him who can attack like this Fernandez supposedly, mm. we, we could just be going, I'm not saying like Liverpool and City, yeah. but we could be getting somewhere. Okay. I want Finish to off on, on the matter. I, I yeah, want to say the it? one matter thing. He started at Wolves and I've had people saying to me, um, he, got, he got two assists. He, he started at Wolves, then we played City and he didn't play. Mm -hmm. Then he came. Then he started against Norwich, and obviously a lot of people saying it was only Norwich. But he scored. Uh, sorry, he made two of the goals against Norwich, and loads are saying it's only Norwich. But he's now played tonight, so he started two in a row, which is dead rare. Two assists, one goal. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Look, after I go, on, I'll go on Twitter and ask Statman Dave to look this up. I wouldn't be surprised if one matter. Has not started two games in a row under Oli. Mm. And he gets two assists against Norwich and starts again tonight. And scores, wins the game. Well, yeah, he scores and wins the game. Another thing about tonight, when he brought when he brought on the two subs at the same time, which was Rashford and Pereira. Mm. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Rashford and Pereira. For Greenwood and James. I, I was staggered he didn't take Matter off. Not that I would have took him off. Yeah. But he, that, he's he always, always does. Yeah, he's always he always does. Yeah. So, yeah. so after playing one game and scoring, sco uh, making two goals, he keeps him in the team, which mm. is a rarity. Mm. And then he doesn't sub him when he brings two subs on, which is a rarity. Then he goes on. To it almost game. strikes me as though Oli has only just decided that he's a good player in the last week or two. Mm. I don't get it. Sunday. <laughs> Rick, um, yeah. you know, we spoke about you can easily lose heavily here. Yeah. Um, it's easy to get done over if you don't apply yourself. Us tactically, etc. etc. I mean, the way we set up our performance today and obviously inevitably the loss, I mean, I'd, where's your thoughts on that? What's your thoughts? Well, like you've already said, I said before the game that uh, you can lose here. Whatever formation you play, whatever tactics you use, all these got a you know it's a thankless task. The way these, I hate saying it, but these are absolutely the creme de la creme at the minute. Mm. You know they hardly drop a point. Well, they've only dropped points once. Mm. Would it, what, are we up to twenty-four games now? I think. I think so. And twenty-four yeah. games they've dropped. They've dropped, they've, lost, they've dropped points once. Obviously, they've won the Champions League last year. They're still in that. You know they are. They absolutely are an unbelievable side mm. to come here and sort of. All right, when I say hang on, we were one down, but when you're one down, you're still in the game. So we hung on until the 90th minute mm. um, and had a couple of half chances. We Marshall did, um, could have yeah. done better with a chance, and Pereira was inches away from reaching the one in mm. the first half. And Fred had a shot. Yeah, Fred, mm, Fred, did well. Fred didn't do bad today, yeah, I didn't I think. It was good. But um, it, it's, look, as a Man United fan and, 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 and being the places that we've been under Fergie 20, you know, 20 years or so, it's hard to say it, but it ain't actually too bad a performance coming mm. here and getting beat 2 0. I'm mm. sorry, like but a it, damage limitation I'm sort sorry, of thing, but yeah. it isn't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've got, but uh, talking uh, about you know uh, conceding early, I thought the first yeah. ten minutes was fairly even. I thought yeah. we did okay. When they scored from a corner, I was thinking to myself, "Well, we're all right here." Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's not where you. I know Van Dijk can do that, mm. but it's not where you're expecting to concede. Why are we not? Why, why are we not going man for man? Why are we not going Matic or Maguire? 
even if you want to stick Lindelof there on him. Why are we not going? You get on him and take, take some accountability. We spent 80, 85 million on, on, on Maguire to command the box, to be a big, massive powerhouse in there and yeah. to stop things yeah. like that happening. Yeah. I saw, and I know you'll watch it back, yeah. and when you watch it back, you'll see, I saw Andreas having a go on Van Dijk to, mm. to you know, stop yeah. him getting around. I saw Fred on a different corner have a go. Mm. I saw Brandon Williams having a go trying to block him. Mm. That can't be right. No. And then we're downhill from then. I don't, I don't know what this, I don't know what actually happened on the goal who was marking him. Um, I've had a couple of people send me messages mm. um, saying that you know Brandon Williams was marking him. I find that hard to believe. No, he was. He, he, yeah. Well, like I said, it's zonal, so you've got the, the, yeah. the smaller lads at the yeah. front of that zone yeah. who were just trying to block off and wrestle. And it, yeah. and it was. It did end up being yeah. Brandon Williams kind of closest to me. Obviously, he sidesteps yeah. him very easy, yeah. gets through, yeah. rises yeah. like a salmon, unchallenged. Like yeah. I don't understand how that can be a logical way of us setting up on corners. We've got to have Maguire on him. Surely. 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 So... Yeah, that's I mean, a, that's got to be the manager's fault. If they've discussed that and they mm. haven't decided to mark mm. to put Maguire on him, mm. I, don't, I don't have to get anybody else who's a serious threat in there. I know they can all hit the ball, but and, and, and that's what I mean. another serious he stands threat. out like a sore thumb as the, yeah. as the most serious threat. But as the game goes on, I think just towards the end of the first half, we were doing okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. And then we get in there, and then second half, they're all over us like a rash. I don't know how they didn't score. They should have scored two or three. The start, um, the start of the half was unbelievable. You know, they hit the post. Salah seemed to miss like it, it was a virtually empty net from about six yards. Mm. We, we were lucky to still be one down. Mm. Uh, but, and, but we rode that storm. Yeah, and we then, exactly. then we did right. Yeah. I was actually thinking we might just get, you know, you do, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Sometimes that's a bit more wishful thinking, mm. I think. But, but the quality in that final, I mean, there was where I was sitting, there was screams for Matt to come on earlier. People were getting onto Pereira's back because he was getting into great positions yeah. And, yeah. and having a bit of a stinker, to be fair. I, I think, mean, what I did you make Matt, of that? I think Matt made a difference. I think we played a little bit better when he came on. We, mm. did, we did have a little bit more of the ball kept them under pressure a little bit more you know with the, in their third I mean we had mm. a little bit of a few passing movements not that we created any good chances no we didn't um, yeah. when Mata came on but was it a bit of false not false hope but where Liverpool like that's fine okay the lot keep whipping it in I'll just head yeah, it out Van yeah. Dyke. all right yeah, cool you're getting times. down the flanks all right I'll just head yeah, it out yeah. was it kind of like false pressure do you know what I mean do you know what I mean when I say that they dealt with it comfortably, yeah. but but they don't just let you have the ball in their mm. third. Mm. They don't just let you have it. So it's not, well it's not really yeah. it's not really false. We did actually play better. We passed it around a bit mm. better, and we and we managed to keep the I ball. I thought Fred and Matic were actually all right today. I I'll be honest. Played, I thought they played well. I wouldn't yeah. really criticize. Like I say, it's like, like I say, I hate saying it. These are not good. Yeah. I wouldn't really criticize any of the players. Yeah. Come, come uh, Luke Shaw coming back in again. He gets mm. a lot of stick off a lot of United fans. I thought Luke Shaw was superb. Mm. I, obviously, I want to watch it again on mm. screen, but I thought he was superb. He Right, yeah. uh, and, and don't forget, um, I mean, everybody's screaming, you know, for Williams. Um, look, Williams has been doing great, mm. and, and, and I've and I've sort of been sold on Williams the last couple of games. But um, everybody's screaming for Williams inside, but it's Williams who gets taken off. Not mm. sure, you know, Williams mm. gets taken off, and Shaw got, you know, because really they were sort of playing with three centre backs, mm. weren't they? Mm. <coughs> Shaw, was, Shaw as a centre back, and Williams and Wan Bissaka as wing, wing backs. backs yeah. But when they needed to make the sub, it's not Shaw coming off; it's Williams coming off. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And so uh, going I forward. For the rest of the season, I mean, Rashford's supposedly out for two to three months now. I've just heard that, Which yeah. is insane. They said he was playing through um, the barrier. Is that David Gill there? Yeah, he is. Um, playing, through, playing through the pain barrier. Now he's got a floating piece of bone in his back and needs a little bit of an, an, a non-intrusive surgery, as they've mm. called it. I mean, where are the goals going to come on? And can we, can we still, you know, make um, <coughs> top four? Well, we need... We needed to sign somebody anyway. Now we're desperate to sign someone. Uh, for me, I think Marshall's more dangerous coming in from the left. Uh, he's, he's been playing centre forward. He's our, he is our best number nine, without any shadow of a doubt. But that doesn't make him a great number nine. Yeah. He's just a thoroughly decent number nine. Um, I think we need to... If Rashford is now out, I think we need to sign a number nine mm. and put Marshall on the left wing. That's mm. what I think. And, and, and if we sign an half-right number nine and put Marshall on the left wing, I think, I think we can easily get top four. That's on Rick. Cheers, bud. Ricky, um, did you foresee that happening at home to Burnley? No. Nope. Wednesday night? No. Nope. Foggy, cold, mm. um, typical conditions for Burnley. Yeah. Um, Chris Wood, masterclass, all of that. But look, we just went from bad to worse after not taking chances that were there to be had. And there was just zero reaction from, from anyone, I thought anyway. Not enough confidence in the team, not enough good players, too many players taking bad decisions 
holding on to the ball too long, uh, Pereira holding on to the ball too long, shooting from stupid positions two or three times in the first half. Yeah. Not surprised that he got hooked at half time, not one little bit. Could have been earlier. Uh, Fred, similar. Two or three shots, but if Fred cannot shoot, if I was the manager, I would say, if you shoot today, I'm going to Fred, find you. Mm. He can't shoot. Every he's, time he gets into a shooting it, position, yeah, it, yeah, it he's doesn't. He's got to mm. stop shooting. Just pass it. Just pass it. So, 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 so there's two, two, three, four players. There's two, three, four players not good enough. Not good enough. Fred's not good enough. Pereira's not good enough. Juan Bissaka's not good enough. He's not good enough. Why? Why is he not? Why is he? He's too clumsy on the ball. He, he, he does sometimes. Sometimes he does a brilliant little thing. Fair enough, and he can tackle. But we need steady players who control it and pass it and pass it crisply and accurately. And Wan Bissaka is not that player. I've said it time and time again. Ashley Young's better than. I know he's gone now. He's better than Wan Bissaka by a long way. It's not even close. Even with the age, you know, Wan Bissaka. Well, it's his first look, season at this time. He's look, 20, I know, 21. I know. Can he grow into into the bit? And 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 what I want to say is, Rick, surely he's not going to be the big. He's not the biggest of our worries at the minute in terms of positions. Would, is he? Uh, well, I wouldn't say he's the biggest of our worries, but it's an acu it's an accumulative thing. We need better players in four or five positions and that's one of them and and they all, they, everybody gets on me cases but there'll be people saying oh Matic and Mata played Matic and Mata were two of our better Matic players played well today. thank you yeah. they're better they're, they're our better players I've been saying it for months even in that game today did you see Fred get the ball in the right back position in the first half he tried to play it across the field it went straight up in the air mm. and they all had to scramble for it in the middle He's not a Premier League footballer for me, Fred, and I've said it, I know he sometimes has a decent game when he's working and he's scurrying around. He's not good enough. Um, I've, just, I've just had a phone call when I was still in the ground there. I, I, I stood here four months ago and said to you that Chris Smalling is better than Harry Maguire. Everybody laughed at me. Everybody come on YouTube. I believe, I believe on, on TV tonight, He's lost his man for that goal. He's lost Chris. Well, wait, we hear this. I don't know if anybody knows this yet, because because me saying it, me saying it on here, and I don't know, which I did say it four mm. months ago, and maybe I don't know, sixty or eighty thousand people watched that video, mm. hundreds of thousands, maybe millions watching mm. Sky. Rio Ferdinand tonight said, "Why is Chris Smalling playing in Rome? He's our best defender by a country mile." Rio Ferdinand's just said that. Mm. Now, when I'm saying it, everyone's laughing. Will the people be laughing at Rio? Mm. And, and another thing about that as well, I said it four months ago. Has it took Rio this long to spot that, has it? Mm. Why has it took him that long? On, on the things, all right, fair play. There's, like you said, there's, there's individual players there that aren't good enough. On Solskjaer, in terms of what he's getting out of them, yeah. and then on transfers, you look at what we're crying out for. Like you said, we need better players. Let's talk about the owners then, Rick. Let's talk about the transfer business that is or isn't going to come in the next eight days. We're desperate. We are desperate for a player to, to, to come in and fill the boots of Rashford now. We needed a striker before he got injured. And like you said, I saw someone on Twitter and, and, and it, was, it was a really good tweet because Rashford's out now and all of a sudden we're looking for a number nine when he's been playing on the left wing. Yeah. So why are we not looking for a winger then we're, we're when looking, we needed a striker we're, in the we're first place? For a nine anyway. you've, have you got any confidence that we're going to get players over the line in this, in this January transfer window? I haven't got any confidence. <laughs> But the problem, the problem I've got, I mean, I'm not defending, <coughs> I'm not defending the Glazers here. I'm really, really not. But if I was the owner, I wouldn't have confidence in the staff recruiting the right players. I think 50 million. The, but I the staff that's the, been the, put the, there the by Ed Woodward. The money, that sh the money shouldn't matter to us fans. It shouldn't really matter. But at the end of the day, if you waste money, it's less money that you've got to spend on proper players. 50 million. Wan Bissaka is a 10 million pound right back. Annie Maguire is a 30 million pound centre half. You know what I mean? If that. So so that money could be spent on others. Now they're talking about, I've never watched this Fernandez. I've heard all lads here saying we want that Fernandez. We want, I, I, well, I've not. Well, you might see the odd goal and that on, on the YouTube. I don't know if he's going to be good enough. I really don't. I've not got confidence in the people who are signing the players to sign the right players. So I'm sure. So what do the, we do? Just not sign anyone then? Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's not necessarily their, their you know, I'm not saying it's not their fault, mm. but I'm fed up of getting, you know, you get your hopes up, don't you? You get your hopes. I said to you the other week here, I'd love McTominay to be fit. Mm. I'd love to see McTominay and Matic playing central midfield, and then if they get that Fernandes next to him to do the, a bit of attacking from there, it might, it might have a chance. To be honest, I prefer 4 4 2. I like two central midfield players, two wide men, a number 10 and a, and a number 9. So, so in, in, in the midfield too, 
one of them's not got to be bombing forward all the time. It's a pair, and you move up and down with the, the back four moves up, the middle two move up, up and down, up and down, up and down. So if you've got if you've got a midfield two, I'd be happy with Max Tomane and Matic. So in my opinion, I don't think there's room for Fernandez if he's a midfield player. If he can play number ten, maybe he can go number ten. I don't. It's. it's I don't. I really don't know. But I don't know if he's what we need. I've not seen him play. And to finish off that, has this. It's, it kind of feels silly saying it because we are still fifth, but yeah. is, is fourth still a viable option because we are still in and around there? Of course it is. Uh, we're five, five points behind Chelsea, are we? Is it five points behind Chelsea? If it, if, if, I, I think, yeah, why can't it happen? We've got to start getting selection, right? I'll tell you who needs a run. I'll tell you who needs a run. I've got no doubt in my mind that Diego Dalla will be better than wan -Bissaka. I've got no doubt in my mind. Absolutely Why? no doubt. Why? Better, more, more. Can he stay fit enough for that? Well, mate. That's one may, of the may, biggest question marks. We haven't not. been, well, we may, have been may, able to see him. Well, maybe not, but he's fit now. He's on the bench. Is he on the bench today? Yeah. I know he was on the bench yeah, at the weekend. He was on the bench, yeah. but stick him in. Or I wouldn't even mind seeing him play wide on the right. Dalot, he can cross a ball. I've seen him put some great crosses over. We Last need, season he had some times at right wing, yeah. Yeah, we need some decent delivery into the box. Mm. That's what we need. And not necessarily high crosses, people who can drive it in properly. The number, of, the number of times we got behind them today and the, the first defender clears it easily. It's not good enough. That's no, Rick. Mixed feelings today, Rick. Mixed feelings, I mean, none of us really probably truly... Fo well, I don't want to speak for everyone. A lot yeah, of people yeah. didn't think yeah. we would come here and win, yeah. Yeah. come here and get through to the next to the final. Yeah. Um, but we managed to win on the night. Um, City wasn't great, apart from the first 15, 20 minutes. The hair did well. Your boy does fantastic, Matic. He, he played, I feel he's playing very well. Yeah. Um, gets a goal out of nothing from nowhere. Great finish. Great goal. Puts us on the back foot, makes a silly foul, gets himself sent off, and now he's going to be out as well for Wolves, which is not great. We need him. Mm. Um, so that wasn't great from him. But uh, he did play well in the first half and obviously got us the goal. But it was just lacking, wasn't it? We kind of played well in patches, but not great in others. Yeah, I mean, City are still a top side. Yeah. I know you said that they didn't play great and a better team might, might have beaten them, but you've got to be a really good team to come here and win. I think Wolves came in and won, didn't they? We've come yeah. here and won. Um, I don't think you should deny how well the lads have won to uh, how, how well they've done to win here. I think it's a great win. And did they I, play really I, well then, in your opinion? Uh, no, I wouldn't say they played really well. Obviously, it's a, it's a defensive game, and we're lacking. A, I, I hate having a go at young lads who come in a team, but Green, we, Greenwood's a virtually a non-entity against them. If, if we're honest, you know, Marshall's up there. On Was his Marshall own. much better than him today? Would you say a little bit? Yeah, because he's yeah. He, he's getting hold of the ball a little bit. Um, Greenwood just could hardly get a kick at a ball. I mean, I'm, I'm, obviously, I'm going to have to watch it again. But, I agree with that. I didn't see him Matt, in the game. I, 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 I saw one instance in the first half where where uh, Brandon Williams won the ball or received the ball, I should say, on, on the halfway line, and Marshall made a run in the same channel directly in front of him. And I thought he's got to give that ball, and and he went inside with the ball. And it, it's only just one incident, but it was one chance that we had where Marshall might have been able to have a decent run. But he, he's also peeling out to the left there. And I was going to say, Rick, I, I have to be honest, I love Martial, yeah. one of my favourite players, but I have, to, I have to say what I saw. Mm. I thought there were times where I was disappointed in him. Like, just, yeah. just the lack of movement, the lack of, the the, lack of the, energy. The very first ball that came to him bounced yeah. off Oh, him. And, and the, the second very, as well. Yeah, there was another yeah, one. His touch was ball. off. He had a couple yeah. of little half shots here and there, but yeah. nothing really he's, great from he's him. still... He's, he's, he's easily the best we've got. Mm. He needs he needs to be playing mm. with better players. And you know, I, I, hate, I hate keep going on about. It. I've just said it, but Greenwood can't get in the game at all, mm. at all. He just I don't. I can't. Is that our him, system as well? Though, the, is our system a kick of the ball? No, he did it. I agree. When, it was quiet. When I, when I saw Dan James come on at, at half time, mm. uh, when I first saw him on the park, I thought to myself it would have been Lingard that had gone off. I thought Lingard. Oh, well, was, do you know what? Lingard Sorry, can we terrible. talk about Lingard? Every, what? The, how many times? When, when I talk about, pe people don't grasp what can happen if the players mm. don't take a bad touch. At least three times in the first half, the ball's played to Lingard, and, and it comes to him here, and his touch goes five yards that way. Yeah. He wants to run that way with the ball. His touch goes five yards, and the defenders take it off him. Now then, it seems like nothing. I'm defending my. Breaking a move, no, no, I don't mean in, I don't mean in that respect. I mean the ball came to Anthony Marshall mm. three or four times in similar situations. He controls it with his left foot, so he's got it to his feet. 
and he passes it five yards. And the move, the move either builds up or it breaks down. But it's not breaking down stupidly and ridiculously. With Ma you know, Marshall's virtually playing on his own. I'm no doubt that two or three times the ball goes to Lingard. He loses it. Marshall goes like that. It comes and in the to second Marshall. half, there was a time he was actually building yeah. a bit of momentum. Yeah. Lingard, poor passes or poor decision making or poor touch, just literally killed our momentum and gave the impetus to yeah. City. And City, yeah. start, City went in on the other side. Yeah, um, it, it was. It was. Yeah. I, I was amazed that he didn't. What take about? It. And, and and was you amazed with the change in terms of bringing in Pereira on instead of him and not Matter? I would have brought Matter on definitely. Yeah. Um, I was amazed that they didn't bring him on sooner. I've got obviously we've got to speak about the free kick at the end. What's got? I'm glad you brought it. I was going to get to it. You've got Fred and Pereira standing up, but but does matter though? Does matter have to go? Actually, I, I've spoke to a couple. I, you of people. get me on that now. I've spoke to a couple of people on the phone. Well, you know, after the game, yeah. who've watched it on the TV, and I, I don't know how, how accurate this is. I've been told that Carrick and Solskjaer were saying to Matter. You take, take that it. free kick, and then Fred has bullied him off him. Now, I, I, I said this on a Twitter thread. If that's true, it's unbelievable. It's the, it, it's the same thing with Pereira, uh, Pereira shooting from distances in the last few weeks, which I've, I've criticised him heavily on Twitter about it. These players, and Fred taking that free kick, they're looking for glory. They're not actually... I shouldn't say they're not bothered about yeah, if the team think, scored yeah, a goal yeah. or not, but but if, if I'm playing and say Bobby Charlton's playing, I'm not going to say <laughs> Bobby, I'm taking that free kick. Yeah. You've got to understand. You look at your own attributes and think, you know what, mate, you're but probably the best man for this job. You need to have the attitude of cricketers. When you, when a cricketer's playing, if if someone's going to get run out, the the, the the batsman who knows that the other batsman's better than him, he gets himself run out yeah. deliberately. Yeah. It's a team game. Fred's playing for himself, taking that free kick. He's not playing for the team. In, in the game, I thought he did okay in patches, he, he but that, right, yeah. I, I do definitely agree with, with that. Mm. Um, look, a bit of positivity though. Like, going forward, we have managed to win here on the night. We can't celebrate that because we've lost. We've lost the tie. But in the context of what we're trying to do, we've got Wolves coming up. Yes, Matic is going to be out now with a silly second yellow. Um, Bruno Fernandes has come in. The deal's done. He's on his way for his medical. Um, I know you have said, I'm not so sure everyone's raving about him. I know you're going to do some more digging now and the jury's going to be out. Poor Bruno Fernandes is going to be under the microscope well, every game now, Rick. Yeah, it will be under the microscope. <laughs> and rightly so, game. because he's coming with a big so, big price. Size. But he's got his better. Listen, Rick, I, I'll tell you now, I know you ain't watched much of him. Yeah. He's a million times better, as you say, a million miles better, better than Pereira, than Lingard, Lingard than Matter. So it's um, be honestly, improved. honestly. Better than Matter? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Well, I'll, just, I'll, I'll tell yeah. you if I agree with I'll you. I'll have the final say on that. In four or five weeks, I'll, have, I'll, I'll tell you what but, I think um, about but, that. No, but are you pleased that we've managed to address this, uh, an area where clearly we were lacking? <laughs> I'm glad we bought someone. Like yeah. I said to you, I've not seen him play myself, so I don't yeah. really know it about the lad. Yeah. Um, and I know that once I do have a have a look at him, and I'll be doing a thread on him. He's, he's that one. He's, if 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 they want little um, ray of light about Matic getting sent off tonight, he's almost certainly got to play on Saturday, because who have we got left? No, but he's, he's suspended, isn't he? No, no, Fernandez. Oh, Fernandez. Yeah, yeah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah because sorry, Matic yeah. has got sent off. Yes, yes, yes. We, yeah. we haven't he's got, got many options, in, yeah. have exactly. we? I mean, we've got. If he's going to play three midfield players, that he does, he's, he's got. He's got Lingard, Pereira, and Fred. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? And that's awful. So yeah. surely he's got to play. Yeah. Which is which is good news. Yeah, I, can't, exactly. I can't wait to see him to finish but, off. But what I'm going to say is because I'll say this on Saturday after, after we play the game on <laughs> he's Saturday. He's no better than Jesse Lingard. No, no, Watch no, now. I won't be saying that. I won't be saying that. I don't want people coming on there saying saying he's out of order and it's his first game, right? If it's your first game, get on that park, yeah. get hold of the ball and pass it simple. Make good decisions and show that you can, you've got a good first touch. That's what good players Definitely do. You've got a good first touch, mate. Good first touch, simple passes, build yourself into the game. If he doesn't do that at least, I'll be criticising him Saturday I can't night. wait for this, mate. This is yeah, going to be yeah. interesting. Listen, who was your man of the match today to finish off? It would have been Matic, but I can't give it him after <laughs> after doing that. That's What's the boy done? Hold on, oh, actually, Rick. I thought he was experienced. I know. <laughs> experienced <laughs> yeah, player, yeah, you know. Yeah. Then he goes and drags it. It, it happens. What's going I'm, on? I'm, obviously, I'm <laughs> devastated and I know I'll get a lot of stick yeah, over you it. Will. You will get but a lot I'm, of stick. Uh, you know, it, it won't, then th <laughs> these things happen. Yeah. He was he was as good as anybody on the park for us till that happened, yeah. uh, and I thought it would happen when he got did I did an ad difficult team, man. When he when he got booked in the first half, I thought it was a long time to go. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't physical, even like it was a clear player. goal scoring opportunity. He had to do it. There was miles no, to go. No, it was so it seemed stupid. silly. It did seem it was silly. Stupid. It was silly. Yeah. But for me, man of the match, 
do you know I'm going to give it Luke Shaw uh, he come in as a centre back against Liverpool and there was a lot of yeah. raised eyebrows and a lot of people a lot of people raised their eyebrows when I said he had a great game in that game but it's difficult to people, for people to appreciate that when you got beat 2-0 and it could have been 6 I suppose you thought he outshone Brandon uh, Williams because I thought Brandon Williams was excellent Brandon Williams had a great game yeah. I, I just think switching to that to that centre Brandon Williams had a great game yeah. all the back five played they well Wan Bissaka had a good game uh, uh, was it Maguire lost the ball on, yeah, on a but then he won it straight back though no, luckily back. for him I think all the defenders played really well they had yeah, to Lindelof play well Lindelof done one shaky pass but as well with, put with, us under. with Shaw being a left back generally and playing as a centre back for, for two games in two tough away games I'm going to give it Luke Shaw that's on Rick see you Saturday